Hello, friends. Welcome. Check, check, okay. Uh, table, audio. Hang on, hang on, let me see, where's my... Oh, there it is, there it is. There it is. Okay. It's honestly a little weird to see these characters just up on the Switch UI, but in a good way, like, things have been restored to how they should be. So anyway, last time we enrolled in the Wrestling Federation. So we gotta get that belt. <clears throat> mm. Sorry about that. Okay. Now, how many how many coins we got? We got forty eight. How much does how much does the quick swap cost? And let me Google that real quick. Oh, it's quick change. Uh. Oh, it doesn't say. It does not say. Because, yeah, I would like to have that as soon as possible. Oh, he uses uh, star pieces, so you need nine star pieces. I might have that. Yeah, they made this track especially Asian for this version. Like, uh, it did not sound like this in the original at all. Like, listen. It's also a little, like, weirdly quiet, I feel like. Okay, but how many how many star piece do I have? All this time I was thinking of, that it needed money. Oh, I got twenty. I got plenty. Didn't you know? Didn't mean for that to rhyme, but sometimes that happens. Also, hello, Greeny and Miles. So yeah, well, we're gonna make a quick detour back to Rogueport so we can pick that up. You got anything new to say? No. We'll see if anybody has any cool things to say on our way out. Yeah, I already, already saw that. I don't mean to hit people with hammers. It just sort of happens. I see. Prince Mush. Wonder what he's doing these days. Okay, but anyway. Yeah, I want to go back. I guess these are like tickets that you can keep on using. Yeah, it, it, man, the travel distance on these shoulder buttons is really small. We gotta go back to the sewer. Step through a puddle. 
Pro Controller? Uh, no, I'm using a, a Ghoulie Kit controller with the Hall Sticks. That good Hall Stick action, you know what I mean? You got anything cool, buddy? Uh, no, nah, not really. I mean, that, that leads to the sewer, but I think it'll be quicker to go over here. Yeah, he's like right over here, I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Quick change. Seven badge points? Jeez. You're killing me, buddy. Hmm. What? Is there anything else? Uh, no, I think I'll save. I think I will save for more good badge. But yeah, you need freaking seven badge points to put this on. Luckily, the W emblem is free. Game might be a tad quiet. Uh, let me check that out. Check, check, testing. Yeah, maybe. Check, check, testing, testing. Check. Let me go back to the surface. Check, 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 okay. I don't know why I would be louder. Checking, oh wait. Checking, checking, testing, testing, burrito, thingamabob. Maybe like right here, right here. I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure why I'd be louder. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, check, checking, testing. My name is Dustin <coughs> Luigi Luigi Lugi Potassium Pokemon. Ferdinand Pencil Krakatoa Check Check Testing Burrito Franklin Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna assume it's okay Because, like I said, I'm not entirely sure why I'd be louder. I, I did tweak, like, one thing on the equalizer, but I, I didn't put it up that far. Like, maybe, like, one decibel. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just clearer. Clearer now than I've ever been. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the levels, and it doesn't seem like it's that much different. I could be wrong, though. Like, I'm, I'm hovering right around negative five decibels. But yeah, we're gonna definitely need more BP. Uh, what 
Can we do anything to get six? Hmm. You know, I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to take this off. Because I really would like to have this on. Oh, wait. Crap. I need one more. Honestly, this one's not that useful. Oh, I'll put this on. Okay. Anyway, let's get into a fight. Let's, like, actually progress the narrative. Hang on, let me... I'm getting paranoid, so let me just check one more time. Volume. Check. Check. Testing. 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 Ah. Uh, burrito. Check. Check. Test. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my OCD and paranoia. Anyway, let's get in. Let's get into a match. Next opponent will be the Mind Bogglers. Boggle. Wrap it up in five turns or less. I got a date with my best gal in a few. I don't want to be late. Now get in there and bring this puppy home quick. Oh, no, no. I got to hit the spring. I got to hit the spring for good luck. Oh, they're gray. Tuh. Prepare to be ensnared, mystified, and devoured. Okay, but thankfully these guys are all already tattled. So... Hey, I thought I was supposed to hit them, like, oh, on the ceiling. Okay. Sorry, I misunderstood. <laughs> Okay, now we just gotta take out Mr. Spider-Man. He does whatever a spider can. Which is mostly shoot web. Alright, nice and quick for Mr. Grubba. Got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. Sorry about that. Yeah, 12 coins. 60 coins. We are in the money. Listen, man, keep it under your hat, but I'm thinking about retiring soon. If I stay any longer, well, my future might get shorter, you know? So after the next match, I'm gone. It ain't cool to quit and run, that's for sure. But you know what? That's life, Double G Man. Listen, you stay cool, okay? Promise me you won't forget you once knew King K. Crack! 
Mustache got game. Even if you're not feeling your best, you must put on a bomb bomb good show. It's hard when you're not into it, but that is what being a bomb pro is about. That is true. Okay, just keep on a going. The punk rocks. Avoid using flower points. Got it. I can do that. I can make that work. Ah, yep, Kleftman. This no take long. This end in pain for mustache. Okay, so we got a bunch of clefts, and they are not tattled. I'm sorry, just let me check the battle theme, like the balance with, with, uh, this. Checking, testing, burrito, check, check, test. Is this good? Like, is it still good at this volume? Right here? Right good? Okay. I mean, I like I said, I record, I record the game's audio separately. So if I need to, like, adjust it, but you know, I like to have it right the first time. Anyway, I gotta swap. That's a hyperbald cleft. Like clefts and bald clefts, this is also a rock monster. This hyper version can build up its energy, boosting its attack to 8 on the next turn. Low HP, but it's rock hard and impervious to fire, making it super tough. Item attacks are pretty effective. Beat it before it goes hyper. Before it gets the super emeralds, Mario! I don't have any pow block. Uh, let's see what this does. Why not? Let's find out. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what? Sure. Ow. Okay, we might be in trouble. Okay, well, I mean, that helps a little bit. Here, Mario, eat the, eat this. I, I probably should have slept in the bed. I'm gonna- I'm gonna try using this. Okay, that didn't work. Oh! I wish I had a pal block right now, I won't lie to you. Okay, so I can't use FP, but I can use this. He didn't say anything about star points.
I'm sorry that I killed you, Goombella. Good. We're doing good. So apparently, I was watching a video that said Miyamoto apparently did not want this game to happen. And I don't mean the remake, I mean the original. Like apparently he just... Apparently Miyamoto isn't very fond of RPGs after all. And what managed to convince them, convince him to let them do it, is the big old crowd scenes. Kleptor can't think of criticism for mustache. Yeah, so like, Miyamoto was big onto like just the GameCube having a ton of characters all the time. And the fact that these characters are only just like a few polygons. You could have, like, a ton of characters on screen. That was what it took. <laughs> that was what it took to convince him that this was a game worth making. The bob -omb Squad. Appeal to the crowd at least once. Sure. Oh, I didn't mean to hit the egg! I scrambled the egg! <laughs> The big bomb boomers. I, I read that as boners for some reason. Laugh at my boner, will they? Here we go, Gonzalez bomb. I have advice. Just give up now, bomb bomb. What if I just said, like, human in the middle of my speeches? Like, uh, hi, my name is Human Dustin. Okay, so Mario needs to appeal. And Cooper Man needs to uh, switch to Goombella because I need to tattle these guys. That's a bomb. It attacks by blowing itself up. Yeah, real smart. A bomb will get totally mad if you damage it. They have like super short fuses. When it gets mad, it'll charge and explode on its next turn. That attack really hurts. Oh, and if it's mad, it'll blow up at the slightest contact, so don't attack directly. Attack it from a step away with a hammer or hit it with something hard like a shell. Ow. Nope. 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 Okay, now switch to Cooper. And let's, uh, power shell. There we go. And we're leveling up. You know what that means. Wait, why are the punies here? Why is everybody punies? I mean, I, it, it's fine. I mean, I'm glad they came out to see me, but, you know, it's a long way away. Oh, wait, what was that? I didn't listen to all that. Yeah, buddy. Money. Money. Money, honey.
It is quite lonely without King K around, Bomb. No lonely. Him too weak. Now him not here. Sound normal to Clefdor. You are in Bomb denial, Clefdor. I saw you weeping in that locker, Bomb Bomb. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, though, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, you just log on to this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubba th will then have to decide who you match up against. You will have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log on with A. Then pick Ranked Match. <laughs> giving him the tutorial. Use the terminal now. Don't you understand basic instructions, Sir Swoop? Well, howdy, Sir Swoop. Ready to get your wings dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle's gonna be against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? We want to get the crowd fired up. So do a move where you do a triple flip and meow. <laughs> You got any questions about detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, pard. Okay, your battle is reserved. At this point, just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The, the team that drops the opponent's HP to zero first wins. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grubba sets fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is do a to do a triple flip and then meow. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, your rank goes up, and you battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you can get your rank up to 11th, you'll get a shot shot at the Major League. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand all of that? Okay, good. For now, just wait until security comes to get you, Sir Swoop. Um, hi guys. Yeah, my name's Swoop. Sir Swoop, I mean. Nice to meet you. You. Yes, you. Sir Swoop. Time for your battle, bub. Follow me. Okay, security's here to escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. There's a big old block to my left. Well, dog my cats, if it ain't the great Gonzalez. Fixin' for a fight, huh? Here, 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 here. Hooey, you gonna love this. Your next opponent is... Rank 10 in the Glitz Pits. The Iron Adonis Twins. That's right, you're darn tootin'. You're finally gonna make a go at the Major League, son. We're expecting great things from you, so don't you go a letting us down now. Now listen, son, in this battle, be sure to use a partner skill at least once. Crowd loves a tag team. They want to see your partner show their stuff too. Now get in there and put your partner to work. Today's main event, the Major League awaits the 11th ranked Great Gonzalez. But only if he can beat the 10th ranked powerhouses, the Iron Adonis Twins. First, let's get the merciless executioner in here, folks. The Great Gonzalez. The Great Gonzalez, how you feeling? Okay, I guess. Oh, Nelly, you heard the fella, folks. He's obviously itching to mix it up some. Yep, yep. Your challenge was real confident, boys. Yep, he's talking trash. Iron Adonis twins, he said. More like paper dog face bros. And they stink. 
And then he said, I bet they're just playing video games and cry when they lose. Uh, yeah. And then he said, Audi belly buttons running their family, stinkwads. And so on. Yep. What? How does he know mom has an Audi? That jerk. We're gonna blend you up into a smoothie, pal, and then we're gonna drink you. Oh, and one more thing. Only smelly stinkwads call other people stinkwads. Understand, stinkwads? Simmer down there, bro. You, stinkwad. You're gonna regret opening your yap, pal. See these bods? Solid iron. See these spikes? Yeah, they penetrate any substance. So basically, what I'm telling you is that whatever you try will be completely useless. Think that over in the very short time you have left with a functional brain. Get yourselves ready to battle! We're gonna do it! We're gonna make the Major League if we win! Get psyched, Mario! <laughs> Give up now! Well, Stinkwads, you're about to learn about our skills the hard way! Oh, that didn't do no damage, did it? That's not good. That's an iron cleft. That guy is scary, period. Max HP is six, attack is four, and defense is unknown. What's with this book? It says no attack will work against iron clefts. It says nothing in the world is as hard as an iron cleft is, so its defense is impenetrable. If that's true, the only way to beat one is to whack it with the other one. Running away may not be a bad idea at this point. Oh, no. But hang on, I gotta tattle. Well, okay, if Goombella says we should run away, then let's run away. We got ourselves a winner! The Iron Adonis Twins! <laughs> How'd you like that? We tried to tell you, but no! If you want another piece of pummel pie, have a bath and come on back, punk! One coin. Well, okay, I, uh, what do we do about that? What do we do about that guy? Hey, check it out! Our little eggy friend is gone. Didn't see that coming. Or going, for that matter. Where do you think it went? Yo! Gonzales! Check me out! Thanks to you, I hatched safe and sound! Thanks, man! What? You were in that cute little eggy weggy? Whoa, that's wild! Yeah, but who cares? You guys want to be champs, right? You want a crystal star? Anyway, I gotta repay you for saving me from old Hoggle out there, so I'll fight for you! I can hold my own. I'll swallow any opponent whole, honest. Just leave it to me. Huh? My name? Let's see, I, I just came out of the egg, so I guess I don't have a name yet. You seem fired out up about it, so why don't you give me one? Make it cool, okay? Okay, what should we call him? This is like the only partner in the entire series that you get the name. So... What do you think it should be? Any suggestions? Only eight characters. I mean, yeah. Yeah.
<laughs> I, I mean, I have an idea. Here, here, I have an idea. Tell me, tell me how you feel about this. Okay, we'll go with that. Hmm, Naka, huh? Not too bad, dude. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Gonzalez, let's go out there and do some damage. The Yoshi is now your friend. He'll answer to Naka. Press X to ride the Yoshi. Yeah, so this is basically the alternative to the speedy spin. And you can also float. Yep. Repeatedly bounce on enemies using his ground pound or use gulp to inhale enemies whole and spit them out for massive damage. Okay, but we need- we need a quick heal. Yeah, so the first time you fight the Iron Adonis twins, it's just unwinnable. Those hot dogs outside are amazing. You could even eat one during a match to restore both your HP and FP. Yeah, so they- they kind of foreshadow it a little bit. But yeah, you need this guy. And also, if you don't know, and uh, Callum was here the other day kind of talking about it, the Yoshi's color actually depends on how long it takes you to hatch them. So I think there's some somewhere around seven different colors you can get. So I got the black one. There's also like a pink, red, green. This guy is a regular Pokemon. But yeah, we got the goth Yoshi. You think you can take me and Gonzalez? Ha! Huh. These ultra hard bards just can't lose. Gonzalez, let me at him. We're gonna take we're gonna take these punks this time. <laughs> Stinkwad's challenging us again. He never learns. Looks like he brought some new shrimpy partner, as if that's gonna help him. Yeah, so... What does Clock Out do? Immobilizes for a short period. Well, I messed that up. I'm not good at that move. Uh, did I lose? I think I lost. <laughs> I think I have lost the fight because of that. <laughs> good, good power that I'm good at using. I mean, it would have been smart if I was at all good at using the move. Which I- I- I have to- <laughs> I have to figure out how to use it. Like, I guess your goal is you want to 
press the button that's over the opponent and nothing else. Like, I, I thought for a little bit that, like, you wanted to... Like, you wanted to press the one that was over the one that the bomb was currently being held by. But I... Clearly, that is not the case. I'm not done with the game yet, but I don't know if you're able to reach high a battle if you actually die. I think you can, but maybe only bosses. I don't know. I've heard somewhere that, like, you can retry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stinkwad. I'll just hit him with the hammer. Oh. Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter during this fight, but okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. Ouch! You spiked me right in the... That really hurt! Our iron bodies and pointy nastiness are being used against us! No fair! Oh dang, bro. Has he discovered our weak points? Yeah, super guard. No. No! I mean, there's really nothing for Mario to do here. <laughs> Just wave to the crowd, Mario. I like that it's ZR for some reason. Oh, Do we have to go back to the minor league now, bro? I think I'm gonna be sick. Congratulations, Great Gonzalez. With this win, you made it to the Major League. Well, now that, folks, is what I call a wild and wooly fight. A diggity dang doozy. Now that part where he came in and put himself to sleep with a giant bomb, that was a little weird, but... But, you know, he, he clearly had a plan. <laughs> Keep it up, kid. You're going places. I can tell. Hoo-wee! That place might be the bed, but places nonetheless. Come on now, folks. Give it up. We got a new major leaguer. Let's hear it for him. A little bit of a frame drop there, but it ain't no big deal, son. Don't worry about it. Yeah, 14 coins. A hun- a hundy. And Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Grubba wishes to see you in his office. Follow me. The paper. Mr. Grubba, I brought Mr. Gonzalez as you requested. Miss Jolene, mind your manners now. We rock her. We, we, we knock around here, Missy. I'm sorry, I'm just so startled that I can't, I can't speak right now. I apologize, Mr. Grubba. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it, none. Now what I want again? Something about Gonzalez. Oh yeah. Gonzalez, you old so-and-so. Let me congratulate you, son. Major League already, huh? I had a feeling you were going places, and dang, I love it when I'm right. You just keep on putting took us in them speak in them seats. I'm counting on you, son. Got a special little something something for you. Go on, take it. It's a little version. It's a little version of me, Mario. I want you to have it. Uh, I don't really want this. So yeah, something else has been on my mind. Your costume ain't cool. What, you don't like Wario? No big deal, son, but hey, someday if you become champ, I'll get you a new one. Some hot pink, maybe with some frills or something. You'll look a sight, son. Anyway, that's something for another day, pard. Take a powder, okay? 
Mr. Gonzalez, please follow me if you would. Now let me get back to looking at my dirty magazines. I... No, the spring! There's no spring in here! This is the Major League locker room. You will use this room from this moment on. And the Game Boy's pink! The match system is the same as the Minor League, but the bouts are harder. Try not to get completely destroyed out there, okay, Mr. Gonzalez? Well, if you'll excuse me, I must be going now. A lot of Koopas in here. Oh, look, a Koopa troll. What's the deal? Would it kill these guys to show a little friendliness? Sheesh. Oh, it's the champ. Stunley guy coming. No, that's not his voice. Stunley guy coming through. It's like, it's like, uh, Haas Delgado. <laughs> Listen up, losers. I've been hearing about some rising star tearing up the league. It's you, isn't it? Yeah, you fit the bill, skinny. A mustache named Gonzalez. Man, I came all the way over here for you? <laughs> what a waste of time. Ooh. What's your deal, Gonzalez? Oh, the champ's belt. <laughs> yeah, stare right at his crotch. What the? Hey, you! Get too close to the hawk and you might get rocked. I'm not sure, but it definitely looks weird. I think you're right, Gonzalez. Fake! Hey, you think you can just smack talk the Rock Hawk? I don't think so. You got some guts calling my belt a fake, you shrimpy, no belt having wimps. Didn't your mama teach you any manners? Whoa, sorry, yellow dude. I didn't mean to rip on your big bad belt. Stop making fun of me, punk! You're alive only because we ain't in the ring right now. If I see you under those right lights, I'll tear you apart! Remember the rock! <laughs> I love that he goes like... When he goes through the door. Wow, I really pushed that dude's buttons, huh? I mean, Mario's the only one who's got buttons around here. About, you know, th four face buttons. Four shoulder buttons. Anyway, well, forget him. We got a problem. Your map pointed to Glitzville, right? God! Oh, thank you, Miles. <laughs> if that dude's belt has a fake crystal star on it, then where the heck is the real one at? Gonzalez, is that your mailbox SP going off? Who'd you get email from? How do you know all this stuff? We, we didn't tell you this. If you want the crystal star, heed my instructions from X. Oh my god, Mega Man X crossover event! Who the heck is this X dude? He talks like he's the man to see about that crystal star. Why would he want to help us out though? This whole deal seems kind of whack. Gonzalez, even if the belt's a fake, I think we should try to take the championship anyway. It's the best way to find out what's really going on here in the glitz pit. Ooh. Ooh, the theme. Ooh. Jazzy. So, I, I need to read that again. What did it tell me to do? I, I actually, I don't think it told me to do anything. Where's my email? Where's my email? Oh, right here. Oh, okay. They, yeah, it didn't say anything. I thought I missed something, but no, it just they just didn't tell me what to do yet. You're pretty tough, baby, but you're gonna have to power up to win here. Is that like Chara from Undertale's outfit? Ooh, item. Ooh, item. Hang on, I gotta take a poop. 
Occupied. That's shell shock. He seems to be totally on top of his game. For some reason, though, I think he's just a big softy. Maybe I'm thinking too much. Hey, where'd you get the hammer? You're biting my style. I'm the hammer guy. That's Hamma Jamma. He must be one of the strongest major leaguers. He's got a hammer like you do. I think that hammer is really important to him. Imagine you're born a hammer bro and your entire identity is just hammer. Destroy the foe before you. That is the only concern of a true warrior. That's the Koopanator. He definitely looks tough. When we fight against him, it'd be a good idea to have a strategy from the get-go. I'll be the champ someday, you bet. Uh-huh, that's right. Just like the big legendary champion, Prince Mush. I like- I, I, don't, I don't even know what his- what his talking sound is. That guy's Spiky Joe. He's a major leaguer, so we'll see him in the ring. He's super proud of his hard shell and the pointy spike on top of it. Whatever. Hang on, I need to heal a little bit. But yes. The Glitz Pit may not be all that it seems. I know this will come as a amazing shock to all of you. But there may, there may be something a little seedy going on here. The tiny spinies. Avoid using your jump. Well, I mean, they're spiny, so I assume that that won't be hard. Well, I mean, what am I supposed to do? There's no spr- I mean, I guess I could hit this. No. Hang on, just a sec. Hang on, just- just a sec. Just not the same. Springboard Squire Pin. Gonna be fun poking fun at you. But see, he means it literally because he has a big old spike. Okay, so. Tattle these guys. That's a red spike top, the most well protected of the Buzzy Beetle species. Max HP, yeah, yep. Yep, this guy is hard. It has really high defense. Why is defense capitalized? And the fire and explosions don't hurt it at all. If we can just find a way to flip it over, its underside has a defense of zero. And that spike, what a pain. There's gotta be a way to flip it over. Okay. Well, as long as we don't jump. Capitalized since it's a name stat. I mean, I guess. Okay, that doesn't work. Sorry, Goombella, you're gonna you're gonna take a hit. You can do that. No. Who let the x knots in here? No, no, oh crap! I- <laughs> I pressed the button out of reflex. But that was actually a good thing, I wanted that to be thrown at me. Dang it, x knot I'm blaming him for this. Okay, what- does a power smash work? Is that enough power? It- it- Okay, there's the multiple backflips I wanted. That I wanted. Because I can say words normally. Okay, so I guess Yoshi is what we want to do. Uh, can you eat the spike or is that going to hurt you? I mean, they had spike. Oh my god. Crap. Dang it. Stop throwing rocks. Yeah, the Iron Class were, were also spiky, that is- that is true. 
the problem is now that I don't have anything to flip them over with. Uh, and the only thing I have that does damage is the ice storm. Uh, I'll just, I'll try it. I'll, tr I'll try doing it. Oh no, it still does damage. Put these in the shop and buy some pals. Yeah, might be a good idea at this rate. That all you got? What would a platform game be without platforms? Yeah, maybe. You ought to know, man, this hammer was forged by my grandpappy. You really think a new model like that could stand up to a vintage heirloom like this? Got hammer envy. One's posture in battle is forged by one's actions in life. Remember this. I mean, I already beat you. I just beat you. You went inside the dinosaur's mouth and... <laughs> That was the- that was what did it. Okay, well, well, we'll swing on over to the shop real quick. Use this opportunity to save as well. Cause there's no saves in the rooms. Hey, you got anything new? Nah, we- we've already heard about- We've already heard about the Seven Wonders. You got anything new to say now that I'm Major League? Oh, I got a poster! Hey, Naka! Way to whack those big blokers around, little guy! I'm pulling for you! Hey, Queen Mustache! You're, like, almost as strong as Prince Mush, huh? But yeah, see, they got, uh... I got a poster. Can I blow the poster down? No, okay. Oh, wait a minute. You're Gonzalez, ain't you? Let me take a shot. Yeah, now now you respect me. Now you respect Gonzalez. Yo, yo, Greg Gonzalez, two questions. How are you feeling today? And if you were a soda pop, what flavor would you be? Oh, that's a good question. Welcome to the Glitz Pit. Oh, Mr. Gonzalez. Thanks to your success, my hourly pay went up. You're the man, man. Oh wow, I got this dude to raise. Well, well, Mr. Mustache. You've made it to the Major League, have you? I'd keep a whisker tweaked, love. Something stinks here, and it's not ripe cheese. Call it a thief's intuition. Better safe than sorry, my sweet. Again, why, why are you here? Are you trying to steal some? I mean, I'm not a snitch, I just want to know. Maybe I want- I, I, I think I want in on it. Well, hello there, you har hardy, heroic he-man of a man you. You're lovely, dear. The gossips have it that you made some headway in the Major League. But I doubt you can beat Rock Hawk, you poor thing. You're simply too stringy. The only man for me is the one wearing that shiny belt. Tootaloo. Just talk to the NPCs. There's a lot of dialogue. A lot of dialogue in this game that can be read. Anything new with you? Why, if it isn't Gonzalez? Yes, I enjoyed your fight earlier. Yes, you thrashed that lout. I don't think you're quite rock hawk caliber, but you have potential. Keep at it. Oh, that's, that's very nice of you. Thank you. I can't say I approve of my little boy Bub witnessing these violent matches, but... As long as he grows up and takes over the Gold Bob Bobbington Corporation, I can't complain. I want that blimp, and I want that hot dog sign, and I want that battle poster. Anything new on the telephone? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I like how that's just there for flavor. It serves no real pro- oh. He don't- he don't have no pal. 
<laughs> but maybe maybe thunder will be good enough. Okay, I'm gonna put that up. Earthquake is good. Uh, I don't really need this right now because I already sleep for free. Uh, I don't know. The rest I think I might want to keep. Okay, bye. Earthquake. No, that's not Earthquake. It's Earthquake. Buy a Thunderbolt. Uh, buy one more Earthquake. Uh, I'm gonna leave a slot open, though. <laughs> wow, I heard the good word, guy. So you made it to the Major League, huh? Shoot, if you could make it, maybe I ought to try my hand in the ring. I, I appreciate all this, like, different dialogue that they didn't have to- I mean, I know that writing dialogue isn't, like, the hardest thing in the world, but it's still nice. It's still nice that they bothered. Oh, that lovely young woman. She is un biscuit particular want of cookie, as you say. Oh, I cannot even sleep. The pink spots on her oversized head invade my very dreams. Watching you fight, you remind me of the first champion, Prince Mush. Oh. Yeah, this this lady's got a thing for Prince Mush, doesn't she? Hey, what's shaking, dude? Keep it clean out there, okay? Prince Mush always did. Oh, and maybe this guy, too. I could use a couple extra coins, so I'll just bet on Rock Hawk again. Rock Hawk will never lose, unless Prince Mush suddenly appears, and that ain't likely. Oh my gosh, you're the great Gonzalez from the magazine. This is too cool. Oh gee, it's Gonzalez? I thought his name was Gorgonzola. So maybe it is ripe cheese after all. Hmm. I mean, it could be both. Conspiracy, cheese. You know, they're not mutually exclusive. Anyway, let's get- oh! So you're telling me you have no idea who got inside. What do we pay you for? <laughs> I uh, snagged some studio mixing headphones for dirt cheap and I'm so pumped, but- Oh, I'm pumped for you. Getting good stuff cheap is what- is what life's all about. I'm awfully sorry, Miss Jolene. I heard a noise in there, but I couldn't find nothing. Hmm, fine. Leave the rest of this matter to me. Go back to your post. And listen to me carefully. Do not ever tell anyone of this, or I'll have your job. You, Mr. Gonzalez, this is highly inappropriate. What business do you have here? Please, I must ask that you stay out of places where you have no business being. Ooh. We're getting a little mysterious. Do you think that's her hair or a banana glued to her face? Maybe it's hair glued to her face. Honestly, I have a lot of questions about how toad hair would even work. Apparently Miyamoto's answer to that is it doesn't, but you know. Wait, let, what do you got to say about this room? This is a major league locker room. Everyone here dreams of reaching the top. You can almost feel the intensity of the ambition in the air. Weird. Speaking of weirdness, there's always someone in the bathroom. Creepy. You know, it's kind of necessary to have access to a bathroom now and then. I mean, when has anyone ever taken a shit in Mario? You know, there's a ton of pipes everywhere, but you never see anybody going to the bathroom in any of them. Oh, hey, this Game Boy Advance is backlit. Grubba's got that modded GBA. 
Okay, no damage from partner. I mean, there's also the fact that the Game Boy is like six feet wide, but <laughs> you know. Wait, does this guy have a tattle? <laughs> Buffer than the fighters. Froggy from Yoshi's Island poops. That's how you get out. True. That's <laughs> that's still probably one of the funniest things ever put in a Mario game. <laughs> like, like, not just that you get shit out by the boss, but also that Yoshi's just like. Like Yoshi says, like, I'm no amount of therapy is ever gonna make this moment okay. <laughs> You're gonna be coleslaw, kid, and that, and that ain't good, and that's terrible. So, okay, partner can't do damage. I, I can't jump on or hammer these guys. I mean, it sure does seem like an item moment to me. See, no biggie. Mario is the avatar. He has the power of all elements. And one of those is hammer. Whoa, Mario, that's another email, right? Don't just stand there, check it. Also, I like that Mario, like, I like that the ringtone for X is the Mario 3 Ice World theme. Go to the watering hole outside the glitz pit from X. From that X guy again. Great. The watering hole, huh? If you say so, X. Who is this mystery guy? You know, sometimes I see how well you're doing, and I just lose all will to fight. I hate to say it, but I, I feel that. That's kind of a mood. <laughs> I, I know it's not healthy to think that way. <laughs> but sometimes I, I do see, like, people doing real good, and I'm just like, oh, well, I'm a loser. But that's a little depressing, and I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> My grandpappy used to tell me great hammer stories. World 7-1, those were his hopping grounds. I'm gonna become champion to honor his memory. Yeah, I think I think I ran into him once or twice. You condition yourself on each and every battle. For anything could happen beneath the lights, such as the way of the warrior. See the spike on my back? Without it, I'd just be an ordinary buzzy beetle. Yeah, but now you're a spike top. Yeah, you got reflections on the wall. You got reflections on the floor. Does that mean Mario canonically avoided that particular hammer, bro, instead of stomping it? What if he did stomp it, though? That's like some, you know, that's some drama right there. Okay, watering hole. I assume he's referring to the fresh juice. Hmm. I can't help but notice that the lady is gone. Oh, oh no wait, she already said that. Oh, you're Mr. Gonzalez. Yeah, that's the mustache I've been waiting for. Actually, you're pretty late. Someone left a package and a note by the door a bit ago. It said, look for a thick-stashed man named Gonzalez and give him this. And this is this. Ooh. A super hammer.
Hey, it's me again, Toadette. So nice to see you again, Mario. Congratulations on getting that super hammer. Now you can use a wicked cool new technique. Let's get to practicing it. It's a little hard, but I'm sure you'll get it. Yeah, hold down B, twist, to your, bu twist your body. Okay. Spin. Ooh, excellent, Mario. You're so awesome. Are you clear? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Pretty simple. Okay, great. You've mastered the super hammer. Big block. With the super hammer move, you can break even big blocks like this. Oh, gee, I almost forgot. You can use the super hammer in battle. Plus, your hammer attack is boosted now. See you later, Mario. Good luck with your quest. So far as I could tell, that hammer's a new model. The Hammerwhack 2005. <laughs> Real nice hammer all around. Solid craftsmanship, good grip, high punk ability. The commercials for that thing say that the hammer chooses its user. They aren't cheap either, so whoever gave this to you must be a big fan. But why leave it in this juice shop, isn't that odd? <laughs> the far off future re year of 2005. Not that hard to hand a gift to a pro fighter. Mario, another email! Smash the blockade in the locker room. From X. The blockade in the locker room, huh? What's behind it, you think? Oh yeah, I'm gonna go find a dead body in the locker room! Hell yeah, brother! Okay, so it means the minor league locker room. So I have to remember where that is. This is a uh, major, I think. Let's just save. I think I just saved, but let's do it again because I forgot. Ah, Gonzalez, isn't it? I got word that you somehow fell back to the minor league again. Can't say I understand why. Anyway, go on in. You dropped down to the minor league? Is that a thing that happens? Shh. No, but he don't gots to know that. Hey, it's Mr. Stinkwad. What are you doing here? Yeah, they, they hate me. And yeah, they, the siblings seem to be color-coded in this universe. Mr. Gonzalez, you're back in the minor league? What's the matter, Bomb? Did you leave something in here, Bomb? Grok, is mustache here to laugh at the left door? Grok! No, I'm here to do that. Ooh, it's an old computer. And now I gotta use Yoshi's field ability. First time I've had to do that. The dubious documents. A set of documents that go into detail about a lot of important stuff. Whoa, Gonzalez, that's some kind of scientific paper on the crystal stars. Who'd be investigating those things besides us? They even took pictures. The belt was fake, but the real star's gotta be here somewhere. Who'd leave something like this lying around? This just reeks of funny business. Hmm. You again. Mr. Gonzalez, what are you doing in here? This is the minor league locker room. Major league athletes are forbidden. Even if they weren't, it's hardly appropriate to bash down our walls, hmm? I'll just be confiscating this, thank you very much. Dang, what's with her? We busted our humps getting that information. 
Some people just gotta rain on parades. Well, at least we know the Crystal Star's here. I really like how all the partners have unique dialogue for certain story moments. Oh yeah, definitely. It's it's just like another another like little detail that makes this game so great in my opinion. Just so flavorful in every regard. Oh, that's right. I I can uh, I can be doing this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, long walk I had to take there. What is your command? I boot up the GBA, it says, What is your command, master? And I say, play Wario Land 4, and it's like, oh god, again? Appeal to the crowd three times. Three entire times I gotta do that. Alright, take me to the battle. I am rattled for a battle. <laughs> Double take three times. Gonzalez, I'm gonna need you to pelvic thrust and then bring it around town. So-called Great Gonzalez, don't think I'm gonna take it easy on you, baby. But I'm gonna have to switch to Goombella to tattle. And I'm going to have to appeal to the crowd. And he's going to use that mushroom on me and it's not going to feel good. That's a shady Koopa. It's yet another member of the Koopa family tree. Max HP is 8, attack is 3, and defense is 1. The difference between them and other Koopas, they can attack from their backs. That's not at all. That's not all. While on their backs, their attack gets boosted, and they use a terrifying technique. Wow, that's pretty tricky. No wonder they're called Shady Koopas, huh? Oh, he used it on his friendo. Actually, that's pretty smart. Ow. That's a pretty smart move from Senior Cooper there. Actually, I gotta appeal again. It's a shady Koopa with wings, obviously. Knock off its wings and it's a shady- yeah, yeah, we've, we've, we've established this. It also says I've had an attack that hits you and your partner at once. Is that possible? Uh, I guess the best thing to do is just beat it quickly after we flip it. Yep. Get a hit. Yep, get a hit. Yep, get a hit. Also, I like that the screen in the background is actually functional. That's pretty cool. Oh, and I can do this now. Oh, oh. Crap! Well, anyway, I can, uh... I can bring out another partner now. I gotta appeal one more time, though. I can't help but wonder, though, would I be getting these super guards if this was the original version of the game? That I do not know. Repeatedly tap the shoulder button. Oh, that's good. Reminds me of, uh, Lady Bo's attack. Okay, so... If I jump on him, I'm probably going to take damage. I'm gonna try it anyway. Yep. Okay, but I did knock him down. 
Uh, let's just defend. Okay, there we go. Simple. Not particularly difficult. <laughs> How'd that floor taste? Gonzales! Wait. Gonzales! Oh, no, wait, it's those guys. Oh, Nelly, I don't believe my eyes, folks. The Iron Adonis twins are in a rage. You made us look like suckers the other day, and now you're gonna pay for it. Ah, uh, a little tired from your match, great stinkwad. Too bad, prepare for pain. Uh, these guys just cannot... These just guys just cannot take it. I mean, is this... Is this one where they have another tattle? I kind of want to find out. Okay, no, they do not. I, I, I did want to know, though. Anyway, uh... I don't think Earth Trimmer would do the trick, so I'm just gonna defend. Oh, that didn't work. That did, though. But, yeah, we gotta get Yoshi in here. And yeah, there's, there's really not much Mario can do about that. Oh, but I'm out of, uh, foop. I'm out of foop. So I gotta get some more. Yeah, that'll do it. Thank you. Oh, okay. I, I, I didn't really need it. I should probably upgrade that next chance I get. No damage, thank you. Oh, wait, and, and it ran out. Okay. Cool, thank you. Yeah, get out of here. Thank you for the experience, though. Thank you for the free experience. Oh, we lost after all that. We reek. Ooh -wee. That's our great Gonzalez friends and neighbors. Kid don't even blink when the Iron Adonis twins barge in and attack. Woo! Tough. He's too dang tough. Yep, this kid is only bound for bigger things, folks. Till next time, everyone. See ya. I mean, yeah, I'd be impressed, too, if this guy fought, like, two dudes in a row. Oh. oh. Gonzalez, another email. What now? Keep sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong, and you are D-E-A-D-M-E-A-T. Man, that dude sounds peeves. I'm thinking that isn't our ex, buddy. Who do you think would send something like that? Gonzalez, you've come to a crossroads, baby. Stay sharp and you'll be fine. My father decided to quit Hammer Bro School and go to B Business Bros School. How could he do that? I guess it's the responsible thing to do, but sheesh. Oh, Hammer Bro family drama. 
You prepare your body and mind for every battle, unless you prefer to lose. Don't judge a buddy buzzy beetle by its shell, mister. Okay, whatever that's supposed to mean. I guess it'll keep on going. Next opponent will be... The Fuzz! Avoid swapping partners out. Okay. So, I'm gonna go with Goombella just to be safe. <laughs> I forgot what happened if you stood in front of the door. I thought maybe he would just, like, not show up until you did it, but no, that's considerably better. New York, New York, we'll suck up your souls, New York. I will swallow your soul. Okay, and yeah, as I thought, two unique fuzzy variants here. Green fuzzy. That's a green fuzzy. As you can see, it's a fuzzy and it's green. Duh. This is similar to a normal fuzzy, so it replenishes its own HP as it sucks out ours. Ew, that is just the grossest thing ever. If you don't find that idea gross, there's something seriously wrong with you. The main difference between this and other fu fuzzies is that this one multiplies. You know, I bet this thing would look great sitting next to a gold fuzzy. What does that mean, Goombella? <laughs> okay. So the flower fuzzy. That's a flower fuzzy. Wow, what a totally pretty fuzzy, don't you think? This thing attacks by boinging in and sucking out FP. How uncool! We need FP! Once it charges up its own FP, it uses magical attacks. Better beat it before it does. Oh, I just got it! It's a flower fuzzy because it sucks out your FP, flower points. Duh, hee <laughs> hee. Okay. No, do not, do not create, do not procreate. Do not reproduce by budding. Lot of, lot of experience, though. No, stop it! Stop it! Oh, but he, he can only create one with equal health. That's the trick. He cannot create a fuzzy stronger than he. That's true of most things, really. I mean, do you, do you think God could create a fuzzy so strong that he himself could not stomp it? Gives you something to think about. Oh yeah, I'm rich! See, I told you the gambling was no problem. I told you it was no problem. Hey, you Gonzalez. Jolene brought you a piece of cake. From a fan, I guess. That looks totally yummy. If you chew on that, I bet you can ride the sugar rush. 
No. Wow, are you like morally opposed to dessert or something? I could not say no to that. Yeah, me, me thinks that cake has a little, you know, LSD in it or something. The champ seems pretty worried about you, baby. The day my grandpappy finished this hammer, I fought by his side. Each day dawns, and with it a new opportunity to hone my many skills. The spike is my trademark, mister. Why do you think they call me Spiky Joe, anyway? Your trademark must be that burly mustache, huh? Spiky Joe and mustache. Together, they fight crime. That'd be a killer TV show. Eh, I mean, I, I, I'd watch some of it. Anyway, now that cake has been sitting out for an entire day. The Magikoopa Masters. Oh, okay. So this time Mario does not do damage. Okay. Cocaine cake. <laughs> that cake was actually good. Oh, well, it's all right. Don't need it. Don't need it. You fool do well to fear our dark magic. Is magic legal? I felt like... I feel like mixed martial arts doesn't include magic. Okay, well... This battle is going to take 40 years, because I have to tattle all three of them, and then I have to attack them with only Goombella. So... Strap in. That's a red Magikoopa. It's a Magikoopa wizard dressed in red. Besides using offensive magic, it can also use magic to boost attack and defense. When it's alone, this wizard will use magic to multiply- STOP DOING THAT! The fact that you can't tell which is the real one after it multiplies is super annoying. Also kind of an existential nightmare. I have to say though, that shade of red is definitely not its color. Yep, we're gonna be- we're gonna be- OH MY GOD! Zooey mama. The cum Magikoopa. I may have to supply Goombella with HP. Goombella, quick, eat this stir-fry. Okay, okay, we're almost done with the tattles. We're almost done. Yeah, yeah, the copies. The copies. Oh, God. Okay. Wait, here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna sweet treat. Mario can be the medic.
Okay, okay. So... I think it said this guy... ...is who I want to take out. I mean, technically I could swap Goombella out. There's nothing that says I have to be using her now. Ice Storm might help. True. But I'm gonna heal again. Ow! Mostly FP. All right, all right. So yeah, we'll use this. Why not? We got it. Okay, one of them did not freeze. Ow. No, no. All right, take that guy out. Oh, wait. Yes! Free heal. Okay, so yeah, Mario, just- you just stand there and look pretty, Mario. There we go. Getting close to a level. Getting real close. They got the spinny eyes. Oh wait, here we go. Mario! Whoa, another fighter storming in, screaming his fool head off about some. Gonzalez has lots of foes, folks. Some who don't even know his name. Will he live? We're on the street that was some mustache doofus was in Glitzville. And looky here. Talk about perfect timing. And now all these folks get to watch me myrtleize you. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy you, and I have witnesses. Alright, so Boswer's here now. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the boost. Style on him. That's Bowser, but what's he doing here? My mind just blew a fuse. He's uglier than I expected. He's got a poisonous bite, so watch out. It'll make your, a make your HP decrease gradually. Also, if he ground pounds you, you won't be able to use one of your commands. Just focus your attention on beating him down, Mario. Okay. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna swap to Flurry. Because why not? Why not? Ow! Oh, but it didn't stick. Uh, that's good. <laughs> that's good, too. Thank you for that. Oh, Flurry can give him the suck. Oh, well, I expect nothing less from you, Mario. 
figured you'd get some licks in. Prepare to die. Ow. Prepare to die. <laughs> and we got ourselves a level up, boys. The effect of the charm has run out. Well, dang, I need to get another one. All right, what shall it be? Hmm. I think I'll go for health. Our Gonzalez, he don't even bat an eye when some fool ambushes him. Tough, you're too tough, son, and you're only gonna get tougher. Stay tuned, folks. Till next time, everyone, see ya. Let's got this man off the premises. We're getting close. We're getting close there. My word, who would expect that lout to show up here? My goodness gracious. Hey you, Gonzalez. Since you didn't want that cake, I ate it. Best cake I ever had, man. Sprinkles, frosting, the works. You're an idiot. <laughs> when I watch you fight, it makes me want to win more than anything. My hammer's really been on fire lately. Seriously, man, I just can't lose. There's no way a mustache is better than a spike. I mean, that's just nonsense. Gonzalez, I see you have the gleam of a true warrior in your eyes now. Never lose it. All right. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't mean a present. It keeps happening. It keeps happening. Raw Daddy. At least one special move. Okay. Sure. Easy. Simple. Here, I'm gonna hide in the locker. Oh, Gonzalez isn't in here. It's just us lockers. Okay, fine. Oh yeah, it's like that guy from the from the, the rogue port. <laughs> Foolish mortals, I will drag you through the gate to the netherworld. Is that the Grim Reaper? All right, but first we got some business to take care of. <laughs> That's a dark craw. Yikes, what a ghastly looking spear thrower. Wow, that's some serious attack power. You don't want to jump on it if its spear is pointing up, because that would hurt. For a run-of-the-mill spear tosser, he sure looks like he's got a point to make. <laughs> Did you see the broth post about how the piranha plants can eat Luigi? Uh, no, I haven't. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Hang on, I got it this time.
Yeah, see? I got it. I got it all covered. I, I got it figured out. <laughs> it looks so silly. I love it. And I'm going to do it again. No, wait, this is the wrong thing. But I'm still going to do it. Because it, it, it bounces him. Haha, welcome back to the world of the living. But unfortunately, it is no longer the world of the living. You're going to hell. But you might already just live there. I don't I don't know. That that might just be where he comes from to begin with. 20 coins, baby. Fat stacks. Fat stacks. Jingling around in my overalls, baby. Uh, Mario, your pocket's beeping. Mail time. Okay. Go to the telephone booth out on the pavilion. From X. Oh, it's from X again, huh? Telephone booth, pavilion. Does he mean outside? You remember seeing a phone booth? Well, we better go look around. Oh, that's right. It does. It does serve a purpose. You're pretty strong, but your partners are strong too, baby. Maybe I should get new partners, huh? By the way, my mother gave me this helmet, but told me not to tell my father. Yeah, I left my whole family behind behind to come make a name for myself. They're cheering me on. I have to make it to the top for them, man. You, Gonzalez, you are now a rival worthy of my skills. Huh? Spikes and mustaches are both bristly, I guess, but that's the only similarity. <laughs> I like how these guys are just going on like several day long tangents. Oh. Oh, hey, man, what's up? Gonzalez! Good timing, you pudgy little punk. Uncle Rock Hawk's got some advice for you. If you keep stealing the spotlight from me, you're gonna enter a world of hurt. Quit making such a splash if you value your puny life. <laughs> I'm gonna run away now. <laughs> hey, who does that guy think he is threatening us? Oh wait, threatening us? Maybe that hate mail came from Rock Hawk. Well, one way or the other, we really need to be careful from now on. Nah, I've never been careful in my life. Oh yeah, I remember there was like a Siva Gunner rip that changed this song into Jotaro's theme from JoJo. It's really good. The title match is coming up! My son is so proud of you! He's your biggest fan! And say, where's your little partner today? I wanted to meet Naka! Oh, okay. You can talk to Naka and then you don't need... Yeah. Get pumped, Naka! The title match is coming up! I'm pulling for you all the way, Naka! Yeah, give him a heck! I mean, he's a father. He he understands. The great mustache. Are you gonna beat Rock Hawk? Think you can even beat Prit Prince Mush? Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Let me get some snaps of you, Gonzalez. How's your mind state? And if you were a jungle animal, what noise would you make? Probably one like something like that. Oh, thank you very much, sir. I'm glad. I'm glad to see the peoples. The peoples, they love me. They love me. Oh, it's you, Gonzalez. I should say you have Rock Hawk's attention now, hmm? Yes, I have a feeling you might become the champion one day, not long from now. Combat sports so do repel me, but my dear Bob will be a corporate VP one day. 
I hear those boardrooms can get quite heated. Perhaps he should know self-defense. I wonder if there are any reputable self-defense tutors around here. Uh, you kind of just press A, or if you're feeling really cocky, you can press B. Hey, I saw you in a fight. Yeah, you're real strong. My daddy was real happy. People who my daddy likes become really great, mostly. You're gonna be great, too. Oh, yes. The sponsorships, they're coming. They're coming. I want to see what these people got to say. Anything new? Gonzalez, it seems that no fighter could stop your momentum. Your run reminds me of the glory days of Prince Mush, the first Glitz Pit champion. No matter how many times I approach, that young woman recoils in horror. Her heart is a cold place, a black hole where my love goes to die. The universe can be a cold place sometimes, eh? Why must this be? Hey, what's shaking, dude? Nice and- oh, yeah. That, that's the same. Alright. Okay, to the phone boot. Oh, wait. What'd you guys say? Do you think I can cure my air sickness by chewing my eyes- Chewing my eyes and closing gum? Yes, that will help immensely. I know I have goggles on, but my eyesight's 20-20. They're what you call fashion. Well, well, the goggles aren't for the- The goggles aren't for, like, prescri- They're not for prescription. They're like, so that bugs and air and stuff don't get in your eyes. That's what they're for. Ooh. A key. An ancient one, perhaps. Go to the storage room next to Grubba's office, from X. What the heck is this guy's problem? The storage room? I mean, does he think we need the exercise? This dude is really cheesing me off. Oh, he said it. You keep missing a star piece by the phone booth and it's driving me loop. Okay, fine. But, oh, yeah, there is a star piece there, huh? Gosh, fine, there. There's your star piece. Are you happy now? See, the thing is, if I was a big streamer, there's a chance that I would not have seen that message and you would just have had to deal with that for like, God knows, like eight more streams, maybe. But luckily, I am a nobody with a chat that moves one mile per hour. Okay, going to the storage room. What do they store in here? The bodies! Oh, yep, I knew you was stealing something. Oh, mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> we meet again, you husky mustache hunk, you. Are you a friend of Gonzalez? I didn't know he hung with crooks. And you look like one. Security was talking about noises in here. Did you make noise while you stole stuff? Oh, please, no one heard me. I'm the best mouse burglar of all time. I'm silent. It's quite obvious that someone else have been, must have been monkeying around in here. Well, whatever, but you are a thief, right? Hush, all you need to know is I've taken what I needed, and now I'll be on my way. As for the rest, help yourself to whatever you like. <laughs> and now we must part again, my sweet mustache man. He, he's come to expect it at this point. Is that what's called a kiss? I heard about those things. I'm jealous, only you get it? I almost forgot, my sweet. This arena holds many secrets, you know. You should be very careful, lest you end up like those poor souls upstairs. And with that, goodbye, my delectable hunk of cheese. We shall meet again. Oh, you're just going through the door? Just going through the front door? Oh, she took off, huh? What was that kiss like? I gotta get me one of those. Hey, but what do you think she meant about somebody being upstairs, huh? Find the switch to reach the attic from X. The switch? So there's supposed to be a switch in here? Hmm. Yeah, I know I know where it is, but I wanna I wanna see what Goombella's gotta say about this room. Let's put storeroom. They must keep props or something in here. 
This is second floor too. If you did anything, if you see anything odd, don't forget your partners. <laughs> this Yoshi is like two hours old and he's already that face when no GFing. Oh. Okay, I thought I could jump on top of this, but uh, clearly not. Okay, so let's see. Flurry. Yep. Oh, it's a badge. It's a bag. I have three BP I could use. You know what? Sure, I'll do that and I'll do shrink stomp. And I'll do... Uh, I mean, I don't get that low on health that often. Uh, I'll just put charge in there, why not? Destroy all of your storage. All right, neato. They make a lot of shrapnel. Oh, hello. Wait, hang on. Is this, is this something? No, it is not. Okay. Crap, I messed it up. I didn't know you could go backwards. I, I keep pressing the wrong button. For some reason, I think that that's the button. But it's not. Oh, well, I want that. I want that, whatever it is. Yes. Good. Enter the vent. Very sussy, Mr. Gonzalez. Okay, let's let's eavesdrop. So you didn't find hide or hair of nobody in that storage room, now what you saying? Yes, Mr. Grubba, it appeared to be secure. Don't worry about it, sir. I've taken the necessary precautions. It was most likely just a rat or something. Well, no big deal either way. Ain't nothing in there we'd miss too much anyway. Thanks for standing on top of this, Jolene. Hey, and by the way, any word on King K? I'm afraid we still don't know the whereabouts of King K, Mr. Grubba. And so, I deleted his spot on his rost on our roster per regulations. The Glitz Pit no longer has any official connection to KP Pete, aka King K. I have, of course, taken the same steps with all fighters who have gone missing. Ooh, fighters have been sure going missing a lot lately. That's the fifth this year. What in tarnation's going on? I heard some security idiot say the pit's cursed. I doubt that, sir, but I certainly don't understand the disappearances. Well, for the time being, tell the other fellas that King K headed on home for a spell. If word gets out about missing fighters, it, ain't, it sure ain't gonna be good for business, no siree. Nasty rumors have a way of sending folks running to the hills, know what I mean? I understand completely, Mr. Grubba. I'll take care of everything, sir. You know, Jolene, you're a dang fine manager, but you just plumb disappear sometimes. I gotta know, where in the world do you go, darling? Uh, that that's... Mr. Grubba, I know you're my boss, but I don't believe that's any of your business. Easy, didn't mean to pry now. How about this, then? Heard of the Crystal Star? N no I've never heard of such a thing, Mr. Grubba. Okie doke, well, I appreciate your time, Miss Jolene. You go ahead and run along now, you hear? Well, if this ain't a fire, then how do you do? Seems like good fighters are a dying breed. That wild child Gonzalez is just about the only draw I still got around here. Whoa, Gonzalez, whoa! Did you hear that? Fighters are going missing, dude. That ain't cool. What's that guy talking about? King K, the minor leaguer? I thought he retired. <laughs> hey, somebody up there? Squeak. Oh, Nelly. Just a little old mouse. Here I am, thinking someone's up there a-peeping. 
I gotta relax, take some yoga class or something. Yep, well, back to the ring. Whoa, whoa, man, we dodged a bullet there. Hey, but did you hear about that guy blabbing about the crystal star? That Jolene lady acted pretty guilty when he let that one slip out. Well, whatever. For now, we'd better bail before someone finds us up here. Very sussy. But, you know, might as well get in another fight, keep it going. I'm debating if I'm going to try to finish this tonight, but I, I kind of want to. We're pretty close, but it, it, it has already been two hours. We'll do at least one or two more. We'll see where we're at. Hammer, Bama, and Flare. Yeah, no hammer. Got it. Acrobatifying. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. My grandpappy's hammer is gonna strike you down, man. Here it comes. Oh, that guy's got a an item. That's a hammer, bro. You know him. He throws hammers, hence the name. When his HP drops and he looks like he thinks he's in trouble, he'll toss a hammer barrage. Nothing about these guys has changed. They're as tough as ever, so brace yourself. Dang, this book always skips the important stuff. How do they carry endless hammers? Okay, that only did one damage. Uh-oh! Oh, he made me tiny. He made me a little man. Ow! Ow! Okay, that guy is not good. Oh, she's a little baby. This relative of the Hammer Bros prefers boomerangs. He attacks twice with his boomerangs, on the way out and on the way back. When his HP starts getting low, he fights all the harder. Prepare for multiple attacks. Yep. You know what, let's, let's, let's get back at him. Yeah, get shrunk. Ow. Ow. Oh, nothing. What is that? It looks like nothing. Get nothing. Uh, good. Yeah, good use of my FP. Oh no, Goombell is on fire. Okay, but we're big again. And you know what that means. You know what that means. Yeah. 
Yeah, there we go. That's what I needed. That's a really good looking flame, though. You think there's, like, an evil version of the, uh, me versus water guy out there, Mario Wii U, where he only talks about how good the fire looks? I hope so. That could be you. It could be me, yes. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Ah, uh, 22, just a 2, 2d2. Two two. Okay, we got two more fights. Oh. And yep, there it is, there it is again. This is your last warning. Stop snooping around about the crystal star. If you don't, you'll suffer the same fate as the others who have gone missing. Great, our angry pen pal again. He sure seems to have a lot of information. I mean, if he knows about the Crystal Star and the missing fighters, then this guy is totally holding the key to this entire mystery. But like, who is it? Who? Well, way to go, baby. I gotta block out how much better you are than me. My father, the business bro, is in the audience today. He worries about me getting hurt doing this kind of work. I can't let him see me lose. If things are going badly, knock him on his back, okay? I will redouble my training. But I think something's cool. I always say it's spiketastic. It might catch on. Stop trying to make spiketastic happen. But yeah, I need my foot back. Need more foot. All right, semi-final fight. Chomp country. Or actually, it might be- it might not be semi-final. I don't know if- I- Champ might not be number one. I want you to win before you take 20 HP of damage. Okay. Our fans don't want to see a battered hero win by the skin of his teeth, son. Now just get in there and show me some grit, pard. Pardon me, Mr. Gonzalez. Another gift arrived from one of your admirers. I'll just leave it over here, if that's okay. Do with it what you will. Oh. Okay, now that cake definitely has methamphetamine in it. The first cake was okay, but that one's definitely got... Like, buffalo turds in it. Chomp country. Arf, 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 arf. They just let some dogs in here. Imagine you turn it on the WWE and it's just like Fido. <laughs> but I got a tattle first. That's a red chomp. It's a rabid, red, biting, chewing, chomping fool. Its attacks are so powerful, we could be in a world of hurt if we don't beat it fast. Which is why it's really, really annoying that its defense is so high. 
His HP is pretty low, though, so items and special moves might just work. Just look at that color. Think someone painted it after it fell asleep at a party? That's a good question. That's a, that's a good question, Mega Man. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Seems like a good start. I think Joshi might be the way to go with these guys, but... Gotta tattle first. But let's see, how much damage does that do? Oh! All the damage we need. <laughs> no further damage required. Oh yeah, look at that guy. He, he ate the methamphetamines! Hey Mario, you see what happened to our pal here? Body went numb, stupid cake, hate cake, never eat cake again. Oh my gosh, that cake must have been totally poisoned. Boy, if we'd have eaten it, that'd be us on the floor. Yeah, but now only this guy's gonna die. Legs like grape jelly shell shaking. Hate you, cake. Hate you. you. Start to lose confidence when your rank doesn't go up. Know what I mean, man? Hey, but I've come this far, so I can't stop now. I have to fight for all the Koopas who helped me get here. I have to, man. You. How dare you interfere with my meditation? Time is too precious to squander on one such as you. Just between you and me, sometimes I have nightmares that my spike fell off. You know, I've had nightmares before where my all my teeth fall out. You guys ever had those or is that just me? Like I like I'm like I'm jiggling them and they just like fall out. And I'm like, oh no! The Koopanator. Avoid swapping partners. Okay. Well, it's gonna be Goombella, because I have to tattle. <laughs> Can't say that you have. Oh. Uh. I mean, I like- I generally like having teeth, so that's- that's probably what the therapist would tell me. The Koopanator. You, finally I get a piece of you. Finally, we'll see who's truly stronger. That's it, I've never- I don't think I've ever had the I'm at school, but I'm in my underwear dream. Because, honestly, I wasn't in public school for that long, to be honest with you. So that's, that's probably why. Though I have had dreams where I'm out somewhere and I'm naked. I don't know why. Like, like sometimes in the dreams I'm embarrassed, but then sometimes I don't care. It's just like, like I, I'm totally unconcerned that I'm going to get got for public indecency. That's a dark Koopa Troll. These guys just totally ooze toughness, don't you think? After it charges up power, its next attack will be devastating. Try to, sur try to survive it. It's almost like these red eyes are trying to warn you how tough it is. Or maybe it just doesn't get much sleep. I don't- I've gotten bags under my eyes, but I don't think I've ever gotten that. Okay, so they want me not to swap out my partner. So that's unfortunate because it means Goombella is not going to be terribly useful for this fight. I keep having dreams about moving into back into the house I lived in as a teenager. 
Yeah, I haven't had those either, but I've also... I don't know what your living situation is, but I... <laughs> I still live with my family. So, I mean, I can't say that it's like, oh... I'm going back... Oh, you know what? Actually, give that to Mario. Oh, he's huge! Oh, that's that's a strong one. Get to do it, but big. Oh, one. One hoop. But there we go. All right, now. This is the final fight. Ah, uh, 30, 30, 69! Mm, pardon me. Hey, that's another male. What do you think? Our ex friend or the haterator? I have many haters. Remove the great Gonzalez posters in the lobby from X. Oh, X again, huh? Okay, I still don't trust this guy, but I guess maybe it is a clue. Something behind your posters in the lobby, huh? Alright, I guess we ought to head to the lobby then. What's it like knowing you're so close to the top, huh? Don't get a big head, baby. You know, I'm actually a little bit jealous of your hammer. I mean your skill. I'm a little bit jealous of your peen- I mean your skill. I mean your hammer. I mean your skill. But forget skill. I'm gonna try harder than you and become the champ anyway. You, should you ever face me again, you will know the pain of utter defeat. Fight on, Mr. Gonzalez. I'm gonna keep fighting too. Well, first I'm gonna go to sleep. And then we'll go to the lobby and take down our posters, I guess. Get a quick save in there. The title match is coming up! Oh, yeah, I already said that. I already said that. <laughs> yeah, I like how... I like how the further you go in this chapter, the more of the posters are replaced with Mario. Except they got my colors all wrong. I'm yellow. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm taking them down. Listen, Mario doesn't have a big head. He doesn't want all this special treatment. His performance will speak for itself. Well, okay, I took those down. That wasn't good enough. Ah. Storage key. Go to the second floor of the storage room, from X. Wait, first I want to see what this lady's got to say. Well, hello there, you lovely, la you large, lovely tiger of a man, you. You're fantastic, dear. The gossips have it that you made some headway in the major league. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I thought I, was, I thought it was new, but it was not new. Nothing new over here. Anyway, back to the storage room. Let's see what we got. Save again, do a quick save. Okay, go through the other room. See what we got. I like that they make you choose the item. Like you're gonna have any other applicable item here. Apparently the Nintendo store in New York has fl flurry displayed on the window in all her glory. <coughs> mm. Yeah, I think I saw that. <laughs> That's pretty great. <gasps> wow! You gotta be kidding me! Bandy Andy and King K! Ooh. G G Gonzalez, listen to me. Man, don't get near the ring when no one is around. Oh. Come on, shake it off, buddy. What do you mean, don't go near the ring? Oh, accidentally found a star piece. Oh. Gonzalez, you see that? That was Jolene. This is craziness. What's going on in here? Uh-oh. She knows. Does he know? Does she know? She knows. But what does she know? I keep forgetting to use this guy to get around faster. And I really should be because it, it is good to get around faster. Maybe we wouldn't be on a two and a half hour stream if I had been doing that. Anyway. Let's, uh, get in there. Great Gonzalez, howdy. Fix them for a bite. Yeah, well, guess what? Your next match is the title match. Ooh, darn tootin', you're up against the champ, Rock Hawk. Now I want to see a fair and exciting match, so don't you let me down now, you hear? Now listen, son, in this battle, there are no conditions. You fight that champ with every trick and technique you got. Now get in there and win yourself a championship. A little snotty tonight, I apologize. Okay. So we're gonna fight the man. Pardon me, sir, but I do believe you're taking us the wrong way. Yeah, uh, you go this way this time, because it's a special match. <laughs> sir, I really must protest. Where are we off to? Springs! <laughs> you two wait here. <laughs> Mercy me, we're back in a minor league locker room, and it's deserted. He did say to wait here, but darling, I can't help but think we'll miss our match. <laughs> now for today's main event. The top dog of the Major League, the Great Gonzalez, is finally gonna throw down with the champ, the one, the only, Rock Hawk. First into the ring, the Golden Grandstander, Rock Hawk. Ooh, dog here, champ. How you feeling, son? Your challenger's a handful. You don't want a handful of this. Uh-uh. There's only one champ, and it's me. Even if this Gonzalez wuss ever shows up, what's he gonna do, huh? Nothing. 
But the Green Gonzales made it to the top of the majors faster than anyone ever. Even got up there faster than you did, champ. What do you got to say about that? What do I have to say? <laughs> That's what. Who cares what this guy did to a bunch of chumps? Because now he gets rocked. Well, my dear, I'd say we're now officially very late. Let's find out what's what. Oh my goodness gracious, we've been locked in, Mario. We're trapped here. Now for our challenger, the merciless executioner, the great Gonzalez. No way! I can't believe this! Old phone, folks. What the hell is going on? What's happened to the great Gonzalez? <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. He fears the rock. Hooey! What a stupefying development, folks. Did the great Gonzalez turn yellow and head for the hills like a dog? Or will he fight? I tell you what, folks, if he don't show up soon, he gonna forfeit the match. Why is there so many Lakitu's in the crowd? Yeah, see, that's that crowd scene Miyamoto was so impressed with. Correct me if I'm wrong, darling, but don't we won't we forfeit if we don't show up? There simply must be a way out of this place. Okay, that don't work. Darling, we tried it earlier. It's quite firmly locked. Okay, there's a coin in there. There's nothing in there, though. Okay, check all the lockers. There's a Princess Peach poster. I mean, there could be a good item in there. There was not. Oh, but wait, hang on. Actually, hang on. Okay, no. There's no star piece back there. Okay. Uh, somebody had a room in here. There's, like, food here still. It's, uh... March 14th, a.k.a. the day that crabs fries. Okay, now we're back in here. Go down the toilet! I mean, it's still a pipe, technically. I request that we never do that again. Oh, we're in the Major League Locker Room. Quickly, to the arena. Well, what's the deal, man? You drop your hammer in the can? I hate doing that. <clears throat> what? Gonzalez, huh? Don't you have a right, a match right now, baby? You, Gonzalez, why do you dally here? Your foe awaits. Um, why did you just come out of the toilet? Here we go. I I'm ready to hear this remix. The moment you've been waiting for, folks. The great Gonzalez just entered the arena. Wow, looks like we actually made it. And listen to those cheers, Mario. They, they love me. Come on, let's go put this other oversized rooster in his place, huh? Hey, 
<laughs> You're late. Just listen to this crowd hoot and holler for the challenger, Great Gonzalez. Will his hammer hurt and harm be enough to rock the Rockhawk socks? Now, long last, the battle to end all battles is here. Let's keep it clean, boys. Get yourselves ready to battle. Okay, Mario, this is it. A match with the champ. Let's destroy this guy. <laughs> you wimp should have stayed locked up safe and sound. What? What are you saying? Don't tell me it was you who got that security card to lock us up. <laughs> You're darn right I did. I also sent you that poison cake, suckers. That's what happens when you mess with me, baby. You meet the pain train. So you're the jerk that's been sending us emails about the Crystal Star. Oh, I have no idea what you're babbling about now. Was a Crystal Star? No, wait. I don't care. I may not exactly play fair, but I got skills, punks. And now you're about to meet them all, baby. Prepare to be rocked. Hmm. Peter Griffin fighting the chicken. Oh, no, no! I didn't mean to press that! I just did it on reef. <laughs> okay, well, we gotta get the crowd back. I mean, this remix is pretty good, but I think I still like the original better. I, I pushed the button. I pushed the button. That's Rock Hop. He flips, flaps, and slaps. That's what the book says. He's really good at aerial maneuvers, but other than that, he's pretty meh. One thing you should know is that Rockhawk never fights above the board. Carelessness leads to lifelessness, you know. Oh, yep, yeah, get shocked. Alright, I, I feel like I should let Yoshi in on this, Naka. <laughs> Not too shabby. You're better than I thought. This may actually be fun. Don't get your head swelled, though, because you still got a ways to go. Check this out. Time to rock. And now he's, he's got them flashy moves. You know, I could I could do this. Yeah, drop his defense nice and good. Ooh. Ah, oh, crap, I pressed it too early. Oh, yes! Yes! That that saves me from having to heal. Man, you're kind of annoying. How dare you turn the rock back on the hawk? I should have just taken care of you before the battle. I'm getting lazy, I guess. Well, since it's come down to this, I guess I have no choice but to... Ah, 
Ow. Ow. Okay, so what do I have that can hurt this guy up there? I mean, I got this. And now for the piece de resistance. Rock on the champ, the undefeated master. I've lost to such losers. I mean, hey, whatever works. Yeah. <laughs> Folks, I feel like my eyes just popped out of my head. We got ourselves a miracle. Technique versus technique. Raw power versus raw power. A clash of superhumans. Folks, this was truly, honestly, without question, no doubt, absolutely, the most legendary, amazing, improbable, history-making bout of all time. And the victor in this match for the ages was the Great Gonzalez. Congratulations, Gonzalez. You're the champion, son. Give my hand, folks. The new Glitz Pit champ, the Great Gonzalez. I feel like I'm having trouble getting out of the Rock Hawk voice. <laughs> the Grubba and him kind of have some overlap. Well, you finally did it, son. Today is your first day as the new champ. Jolene, hand him the fight money. Oh, 100 coins. Tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and get you set up in the champ room right away. Miss Jolene, be a peach and show Gonzalez here the champion's room, okay? Absolutely, sir. Well then, Mr. Champion, would you follow me, please? Pardon me? Oh yeah, this is a nice room. Congratulations again, Mr. Champion. From now on, this is where you'll stay. It's your room now, so make yourself at home. You will use the terminal as you always have, of course. Will there be anything else? Well then, have a nice day, Mr. Champion. Yeah, 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 yeah! We finally made it, Gonzalez. But, you know, Rock Hawk really sounded clueless about the Crystal Star. We still don't have any leads on that thing. I mean, where the heck could it be? Somebody farting in the vent. Oh god, it reeks! Hang on, Gonzalez, you hear that? A voice is coming from somewhere. Oh yeah, somebody's taking a fat dump in the other room. And I went through that toilet too. You think it's a ghost? Hey, do you have to have that thing turned up? That scared me silly. Discover the true nature of the ghost from X. There's actually a ghost? Okay, that is not cool. Ghosts are scary. Wait, hang on. What's my health at? Yeah, I could go for a rest. We'll, we'll figure out what the ghost is about tomorrow. Hang on, can I, can I blow this away? No, I cannot, okay. Wash my hands. Step in the sink. Have a drink, lift some weights. Have a debate. Oh, can Flurry blow this away?
No. Because beating, beating the ever-loving crap out of it doesn't seem to be doing any good. Oh wait, hang on. What do you got? What do you got to say? This is Champ's room. Yeah, this has to be like the worst decorating ever. Like that tiger print bed. I mean, come on. I think Rock Hawk designed it, or maybe Grubba. It couldn't be Jolene. Okay, so that's how you get up there. Oh wait, 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 wait. I might, I might know what you got it. Uh, no, I don't want to rest in the bed. I hate myself. And no, that doesn't, that doesn't do it. Oh wait, can I blow away the, the presents? No, there's letters. Oh wait, 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 wait. Wait, there's like flowers there. No, no. No. Okay, how do I get this down? I need to remember. Come on, go. Get down. Oh wait, oh wait, I'm stupid. <laughs> there we go, there we go. I'm in the vent. I'm sussing around. We're in the air duct, right? Where does it lead? Gumbella, tell me about the air duct. We're in the ventilation duct. It's really cramped in here and musty and danked. Dank like my fabulous memes. <laughs> well, that's in perfect condition as usual. As long as I got that baby working for me, this old bond ain't never gonna get weak. But I'm gonna have to watch my tootsies here for a little bit. First I let that King K idiot walk on me when I was with that. And now I can't shake the feeling that Jolene and Gonzalez are onto me. Well, I guess I'll burn that bridge when the time comes. I'll just disappear them. Yep, just like I did to them others. Like I did to Prince Mush, the first champ. Yeah, that's a good- that's a good monologue to just have to no one in particular. That's Grubba. You think he could have made all those fighters disappear? I better lock this room up tighter than a peanut bar, peanut butter jar at a squirrel convention. I'll just go ahead and hide that paper relating to that in the desk drawer. There we go. You know what though? Since I'm thinking aloud here, I mean at least it's, it's self-aware. Good fighters ain't nothing to mess with. Even Rock Hawk lost to Gonzalez. His new champ might have to disappear pretty soon for my sake. Oh, I'm sure that was nothing. <laughs> That's right, my credit card number is... <laughs> Didn't he say something about his desk drawer? This is the promoter's room. It's fitting, it has a sort of relaxed authority, you know? This is where the pairings for each match get decided. Neat! Oh, but I, I see that. I mean, besides the phone booth, I like to think my crystal star... No, not, not crystal star, the star piece spot and skills are pretty alright. There's something. You think that's the paper Grubba hid? Let's take a peek, huh? It's a Grubba's credit card number! Whoa, a machine under the ring using a crystal star? These are the blueprints. I don't know much about technical stuff, but I think the crystal star powers it. If this document's accurate, the machine can suck the power out of people. You think that King K and Bandy Andy had been, like, drained? Great golf and gulpers! How in tarnation did you get in here, son? Well, slap me and call me Sassafras. You're staring at my secret paper, too. Quiet, you total scumbag. You sucked the life out of poor King K and Bandy Andy. Whoa, Nelly, this ain't good. Come on, Mario, we can't let that jerk get away. Wait, so you're telling me the lead of the Wrestling Federation, an ex-wrestler, might have been doing evil and illegal things? How realistic. I'm glad the security is just willing to let me through, though. 
Oh, wait, wait. Anything back here? Hang on, Grub. I'll be right with you. Don't bother leaving. The cops will get you. Anyway, the actual boss of this chapter. I gotta say, y'all are a couple of slack-jawed idiots sniffing around my business. Now that you know my big secret, I'm afraid you'll have to take a little old dirt nap. Mario up there, the real crystal star. <laughs> I ain't like my machine. Pretty dang nice, huh? Yep, I've been sucking power from fighters with this baby. Slurp. You're darn tootin', and you know why? Cause it keeps my bod forever young, son. Using a crystal star to look good? You're so totally vain, you're gonna have to pay for that. Oh, just shut your traps now. I'll use my crystal star however I dang please. Check this out. Muscle up. He's taking the steroids. Macho Grubba. Whoa, Grubba got huge. Ooh, I'm gonna smoosh you guys into guacamole and snack on your energy too. Macho! I'm a powerhouse now, you pestering little pieces of prairie piffle. So long as I have this here machine, my body will be rough, tough, and ultra buff. Okay, Mario, I've had just about enough of this guy's yapping. Let's take him down. All right, Macho Grubber. Oh, this part's really good, though. That's Macho Grubba. He's Grubba all souped up on Crystal Star Power. Oh, that's a lot of HP there. His attack pattern's simple. First, he increases the number of times he can attack. Then he powers himself up with all sorts of wild power-up-y moves. But it's pretty important to pay close attention to, attention to how he's powered himself up. The wildest thing about this muscle head is that he was just regular old Grubba a minute ago. I guess the Crystal Stars really are powerful. Okay, more chances to attack are now available. Well, I think I will power you down. Oh, now he's regular size. Okay, and I'm... Oh yeah, you can charge. But I think I'm gonna switch to Naka. Can I, can I charge like a... Okay, no, it's just, it's self-use. Okay, so what else? We dropped his attack. Now we gotta drop his defense. Because otherwise we're not gonna be able to do any damage on this dude. Spicy, you know why I love a good tussle, Gonzalez. Keep on scrapping, son. Of course, it ain't gonna do you much good in the end.
I pushed the button. Uh-oh. What are you doing? Oh, okay. All the punies ran away. Oh, alright. Sure. If you, if you insist, then sure, yeah. Well, that sucks. Well, that sucks even more. Okay, he's, he's strong. Okay, there we go. That's a guard. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, we are gonna need more of uh, foop. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna sweet treat. I missed that one. Got that one, no. Come on, get me- No! Give me the foop! Give me the foop! Uh, you know what, sure. Good enough. But yeah, this guy's basically, like, half a bow. Like, he has her battle move, but not her field move. Okay, but this guy... ...is gonna need some defense lowering. Oh, bingo time. Oh, no, didn't get it. Not too shabby, Gonzalez. You got showmanship, and that's gold in this biz. But this here battle's just getting started. Time I showed you some real moves. Back in the day, I had so many rump kicking moves, they had to make some illegal. Beetle, 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 beetle. Now I'm gonna drop his attack power, I think. Come on. All right, defense has been bootsed. Ow. You know what? Let's use a uh, earth trimmer. I mean, why not? If we got the star power to spare. Okay, his defense is higher, so... You know what? I'm gonna swap partners. I'm gonna swap to Flurry. Because why not? Ugh. I ain't finished yet, Gonzalez. 
It ain't over till it's over. That's the way it goes in combat sports, son. And let me tell you something. Fortune's gonna smile on me in the end, punk. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna definitely gonna need to heal Mario. So yeah, let's uh let's give Mario a hot dog. Glizzy. Okay, Flurry, slam this man. Wait, actually. Nah, okay, just just slam the man. Come on and slam and welcome to the jam. Okay, so we're almost through. <laughs> okay, we're almost throughher than we were a second ago. Oh, but he's electrified. Our hammer's conductive. Ow. <laughs> okay, the last attack has been like nothing of my doing. Literally, it's just like random circumstance. Oh, and we got a level up. Well, I don't think I've leveled up BP very- I mean, FP very much. BP I have, yes, but... So I'll, I'll get a little bit more FP. Just for the sake of balancing it out a little bit. But then next time we're going all in. We're going all in on BP, baby. Mario became a B-list star. Next battle, Mario's crowd and stage will be bigger. Oh, I forgot about that. I didn't know that was a mechanic. No, how did this happen? How could a perfect bard like mine lose to such a schlub? Oh, great, Gonzalez. Great fight there, son. Great fight. Ugh. <laughs> Mr. Champion. No, I mean, Mario. Please allow me to offer my earnest thanks for defeating that foul grubber. Oh, we get to hear the sad music. Why, Miss Jolene? I really have to apologize. I'm so sorry that I had to get you involved. But you must understand, I had to learn the truth about this arena by any means. Let me tell you everything. I had a little brother once by the name of Mush. He'd have done anything for me. Our family was always poor, so he became a fighter here to support all of us. But he suddenly went missing one day. Our family was inconsolable. I suspected foul play, so I got hired on as the manager and investigated in secret. As I looked for clues about my brother, I accidentally saw Mr. Grubba transform. Seeing what I was up against, I almost gave up hope. And then you appeared. So I decided to secretly, advi secretly guide you. Oh, so our mysterious ex was... Correct. It was me. Once I saw you fight, I knew you were the only one who could challenge Grubba. Now, sir. No, not sir. Grubba. I want answers right now. What did you do with my precious little brother? You know exactly what I'm talking about. The first champion, Prince Mush. Oh, Prince Mush, he, he discovered the secret of my power-sucking machine. I had him disappear. Any which way you look at it, oh, he ain't around these parts no more. No! I suspected as much. Oh, poor sweet Mush. The poor dear really seemed aloof. But in fact, she just loved her brother so. 
Mario, darling, look there, the crystal star. It was me, I was inside the star the whole time. Oh that oh that is some good animation on this dude. Whoa, is this am I back in the glitz pit? Mush. Oh, is that really you, sis? What are you doing here? I I was I was just There there, Mush, it's okay. It's all over. Finally. Oh, see me, so that's what the crystal star's capable of. Now, Mario, the crystal star is yours. Truly, you don't mind if we take it? It's better that you have it, so that nothing like this will ever happen again. Well, darling, you needn't hesitate. Take it. Oh, yeah. And I got power lift. That's the lemonade flavor one. Glitzville Simi Underside was a dark, dangerous place seething with conspiracy. With the help of the lovely Miss Jolene, Mario revealed Grubba's true identity and acquired the third crystal star by defeating the monstrous Macho Grubba. Grubba had used the power of the crystal star to run this power-draining machine. What other hidden powers might these strange and mystical items possess? Beldum. Tell me, what good are you? You still haven't taken care of that Mario character? Well, yes, sorry, but only because he's tougher than we thought at first. You do understand that we x noughts must open the Thousand Year Door first, do you not? <laughs> well, rest assured that I will definitely nail him next time. We have prepared a weapon that will bring him to a quick and certain end. I trust your words, though I rapidly lose my patience. Just leave it to us, sire. <laughs> Let's away, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian. Oh, go. Hmm, nothing to say, really. I, I wouldn't have much to say if I was her, either. Hmm, no doubt about it. I'm officially bored. Those awful X things haven't been able to ask about the map. I haven't been back to ask about the map. Maybe they don't, don't Maybe they don't care about it. I'm just gonna do that one over. Those awful X things haven't been back to ask about the map. Maybe they don't care about it anymore? Oh my, that must be tech again. This computer down bad. Hello, Princess Peach. You always call me in without warning, Tech. What is it this time? <laughs> I like this remix of the Peach's Castle theme. All those wrong notes they play make it sound more original. I apologize. I would like you to go to where Sir Grotus is and ask him something. What? What do you mean, go ask? I recently obtained specific information that brought an issue to my attention. 
You are the main computer here, right? Why is there anything you don't know? I am unable to know things that are not entered in my CPU or otherwise recorded. That is why I want to know what Sir Grotus is thinking about this issue. But even if I try to go see him, they'll catch me and send me back to the room. That is true, but you will find a soldier's room one floor up. Take the elevator. Once there, please obtain a soldier's uniform and change into it, avoiding detection. You will go see Sir Grotus looking like a soldier. You mean I'll be disguised? I imagine you won't take no for an answer, will you? You imagine correctly. Alright, fine, I guess. Well, what do you want me to go ask Grotus? I want you to ask. I do not get to know. Why in the world would Tech want me to go and ask about that? He sure is a weird computer. Okie doke. What happens if I pause? Oh, it won't let me. To the elevator. Oh, is this the elevator he wanted me to go in? Well, I mean, you see another one? Going up. Please wait just a moment. There's currently a soldier in the vicinity. Huh? Now, Princess Peach. After leaving the elevator, head to the right. It is the room nearby with the green lamp. Okay. Go in the green door. Please change here, quickly. The soldier's uniform should be in a locker. Hmm? Oh? Is this the uniform? Am I supposed to wear this ugly thing? Yes, that is correct. Uh, oof. I don't know about this. It's awfully tight, and it kind of smells a bit. Phew. Who knows how, but I got into it. I can barely breathe, though. <laughs> I bet I look perfect. Indistinguishable. Don't even ask how this works. I have no idea. Hey, slacker! What part of do not leave your post? Don't you understand, huh? Hmm? What? Come again? Oh, are you on your break? Well, fine. Carry on. Huh? You smell that, dude? What a weird smell. You smell... nice. That is just wrong, dude. What? What? What is it? If you if you have nothing to say, then don't speak to me. I'm busy. See, I've even got a busy X not clipboard here, and it says, "Do not disturb." Okay. Cool footstep sound effects. Well, anyway. Excuse me, Sir Grotus? Oh. Yes, what is it? Speak! Uh, well, it's about Princess Peach. What do you plan to do with her going forward? Something is wrong with your voice, x naught Perhaps I have a throat lozenge. No, well, never mind. Oh, about Princess Peach? I have no interest in what that woman has to say. 
Just keep her locked in the room. But don't ever, ever treat her roughly. You understand? Tell the others as well. But, uh, uh, why in the world are we keeping her here, then? That's none of your business. Don't forget your place, you impudent worm. Concentrate on getting the crystal stars. That's all I require of you. We x need the legendary treasure to conquer the world. Don't forget it. Conquer the world? Legendary treasure? What are you blathering about now? Hmm, something is odd about you. N no nothing odd. Uh, so, Roger, or whatever, p please excuse me. Ooh, that was unnerving. All that stuff about conquering the world. Talk about creepy. I wonder if that has anything to do with collecting these crystal stars. Uh, it's probably a safe bet, yes. Off with this thing. Whew, good old pink dress, my favorite. Why would I ever wear anything different? I'd better get back quickly. I like that when you're moving diagonally, she like tilts slightly. You see, you see, like like this. <laughs> I mean, Mario does that too, but you know. Tech, you terrible machine. So your goal is to conquer the world, is it? Of course. After all, I was built for that purpose. Conquering the world? How could you? Princess Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? There are many problems in the world, many sorrows. Do you like such a world? Of course I do. Nobody likes everything about the world, but I love the good parts. There are many sorrows, sure, but there's also joy. Is that so? Tell me, will the crystal stars help you conquer the world? And what's this treasure? I'm afraid I cannot answer. Answering those questions is prohibited by Sir Grotus. Well, but... Oh, never mind. I must at least inform Mario about this awful plan for world domination. Tech, let me use your communicator. I suppose I can allow that. Please use the communicator. And then Grotus is just like, Why are there all these outgoing emails to Mario? Send it this instant. The message has been sent. Well then, Princess Peach, you have had a busy day. Go back to the room, please. Oh, okay. Good night, Princess Peach. And yeah, we're gonna do the Bowser intermission and then that's gonna be it. But, oh, this is a really good one, though. That, that thing's humongous! Everybody hide now! Save yourselves! Who would have thought that fool Mario would be in Glitzville of all places? Did you say something, your rudeness? Uh, no, nothing at all, as far as you know. Hey, did you see those little bite-sized shrimps? What were those things? Those were some punies. One of them should know about the Crystal Star. They fear you, so they're all hiding. Let's find them all and force them to tell us about the Crystal Star. Find them, my lord! Find the hidden punies, and make them tell us where the crystal star is! Look, that shrub over there seems suspicious, your wretchedness! Eek, you're, you're scary, Mr. Giant Bad Breath Monster! 
Don't worry, Patootie. Your big brother is here. We'll we'll get through this. Y yikes! This guy's big and bad. He's large and in charge. What can I not? You're one of them, aren't you? One of the evildoers. You want our crystal star. Ha! See? I knew it! This ugly thing knows where the crystal star is! Tell us! How rude! Ugly thing? How dare you, you wretched crone! I am the great puny elder! Yeah, my heart! Don't startle me like that! I'm too old for this stuff! It's head versus head. Awesome. Him, um, yes, Lord Bowser. You look as if you're just dying to say something. Uh, no, nothing. Let's move on, shall we? You, elder head thing. Where's the crystal star? And don't try pulling rank again. Your answer, not your age, will determine your fate. Thing. Honestly, in any case, you're too late. The crystal star is gone. Uh, what? That's right, you rude thing. We gave it to a mustached man named Martio. He said he was collecting the crystal stars to rescue some princess. What did he call her? Princess Pinch? Yep, he was off to save that lucky lass. It's Mario, not Martio. And it's not Princess Pinch. Her name is Princess Peach. But your senility is besides the point. The princess and the crystal stars must be connected. Mario's trying to get it all. Treasures, princess. Does his greed ever end? That jackal. Both Princess Peach and the crystal star belong to me. To me. If I find him, I'm going to finish him off once and for all. I swear it. So now you must leave. I understand. If you must, you must. We won't delay you. I hope you succeed in finding the rest of the Crystal Stars. Good luck. Gonzalez, I wanna tell you. Rockhawk ain't gonna fight dirty anymore. I'm gonna hit the weights, take some vitamins, and win the title fair and square. And I'm never, ever gonna lose again. Remember, when life rocks you, rock back! Listen, G-Money. Thanks for everything, man. You're the nicest dude I've ever met, and if you ever need it, I've got your back. Me, I think I'm gonna chill here and improve my skills. King K's back, baby. And it's all thanks to you. You're my boy, Mario. Now that Grub is out of the picture, I'm going to take over running the Glitch Pit. If you ever decide to return to the ring, just come back. I'll keep your spot open. You have tons of fans, and they'd absolutely love it if you made a comeback. Anyway, think it over, okay? And travel safe. Marvelous. Now we have three of those crystal stars. I suggest we make haste. I... I cannot talk. But then again, I've been doing it for three and a half hours. I suggest we make haste for Rogueport, wouldn't you say? But not right now. Because I've, I've been going too long and I'm going to stop now. But that's a, that's a great chapter. I mean, okay, gameplay-wise, there's not a lot of running around. You're just kind of doing battles. But I feel like the flair of that chapter... The, the story, the, the presentation and everything. It, it makes it one of the most memorable ones in the game for me. But also the next chapter is going to be also very good. Very memorable, so... Looking forward to that. I mean, I don't think there's a chapter in this game that, like, isn't memorable. I mean, chapter 1 and 5 might be, like, a little lower down in my opinion, but most of them pretty good. And yeah, chapter 6 is pretty excellent. But yeah, so thank you for tuning in. I will be back with more of this, of course. But for now, let me rest my throat after doing...
so many throaty voices all night. So, have a good night, everybody. <laughs>